let us start the lesson rational number we know that the equations x plus 6 is equal to sum so this is the linear equations with one variable see here x is equal to 7 minus 6 we get x is equal to 1 see here 1 is the natural number take another example x plus 6 is equal to 6 so x is equal to again solve the equation x is equal to 6 minus 6 we get x is equal to 0 this is whole number whole number. we can take another example x plus 4 is equal to 5 so what is x x is equal to sorry so x plus 6 is equal to 5 x is equal to 5 minus 6 x is equal to minus 1 this is integer observe the solution so 1 that is a natural number 0 considered as a whole number minus 1 is an integer so solving this type of simple equations from the available list of integers so we have to consider another equation so 5x is equal to 6 5x is equal to 6 and 3x plus 5 is equal to 7. Let us solve. So 5x is equal to 6, x is equal to 6 by 5. This one, 3x is equal to 7 plus 5 move to RHS, we get minus 5. 3x is equal to 2. What is x? x is equal to 2 by 3. Just you observe the solutions. So x is equal to 6 by 5, x is equal to 2 by 3. These solutions lead us to the leads us to the rational number. To the rational number. So we can discuss about the rational number. Are you understand? So, just you observe the these three are very simple equations. So, solving this simple equations from the available list of integers. But in this equation, we don't have the solution of integers. That's why the solutions leads us to the rational number so now we are discussing about the rational number see so what is the definition of rational number rational number means the numbers which are in the form of p by q the numbers which are in the form of P by Q, P comma Q belongs to Z. That means integers Q does not equal to zero. In mathematical form, the definition Q, that is the rational number, is represented by the letter Q is equal to. So P by Q, that is in the form of P by Q, such that this symbol is such that p comma q belongs to z q does not equal to 0 okay. first is operation operation numbers remarks
operations. First one is addition. First one is addition. So, we can take any two natural numbers, 1 and 3, that is 1 plus 3, we get the answer is 4. Just you observe the numbers. 1 and 3 are the natural numbers. We can add any two natural numbers. We get another natural number. Isn't it? Therefore, in general, we can write it as for all. This is the symbol of for all. A comma B belongs to N. We are discussing the properties of natural number. That's why we can write A comma B belongs to N. Then, a plus B belongs to N. Yeah. Isn't it? See here. The sum of any two natural numbers is equal to the another natural number. Therefore, what is the reward? So, natural numbers. Natural numbers are closed under addition. So, natural numbers are closed under addition. So, next one is, next one is subtraction. Subtraction. Now, we are take any two natural numbers, same as 1 and 3. So, 1 minus 3 is equal to what? This is the minus 2. Just observe. The number minus 2. Definitely minus 2 is not in the natural number. Isn't it? Therefore, in general, for all A comma B belongs to N, then, then A minus B does not belongs to N. Isn't it? Therefore, what is the remark? Natural numbers. Natural numbers are not observe it, not closed, not closed under subtraction. Under subtraction. Now, third one is third operation is multiplication. A comma B belongs to N. A into B belongs to N. Also belongs to N. What is the remark? Just the very important one is remark. Conclusion. Remark means conclusion. What is the conclusion? That is natural numbers. Natural numbers are absorbed, closed under multiplication. under multiplication. So, first one is addition operations. First one is addition. Second one is subtraction. Third one is multiplication. So, the numbers, we can take 1 and 3, we get the 4. Addition of 2, any 2 natural numbers, we get the another natural numbers. Therefore, what is the remark? What is the conclusion? The natural numbers are closed under addition. Okay, subtraction. We can take any 2 numbers that numbers are in the natural numbers. So, 1 minus 3 is equal to what? Minus 2. Observe the number minus 2 not in the natural numbers. Therefore, for all A, B belongs to M, then A minus B does not belong to M. What is the conclusion? Natural numbers are not closed under subtraction. So, now, we can go to the multiplication. Take any two natural numbers. 
So 2 and 3. Multiply these two numbers, we get the answer is 6. 2 into 3 is equal to 6. Observe, the product of any two natural numbers is equal to the another natural number. Therefore, for all A comma B belongs to M, A into B belongs to M. That's why the natural numbers are closed under multiplication. So, fourth one. Next is fourth one division. Division. Again, we can take any two numbers. Two divided by three. This is equal to two by three. This is equal to two by three. Observe. This is two by three. Two and three are natural numbers, but 2 by 3 is not a natural number. That's why, in general, we can write it as for all A comma B belongs to Z, A divided by B does not belong to Z. That's why, what is the remarks? So, natural numbers Natural numbers are not closed under division. Under division. Therefore, the division or not closed is a natural number. Multiplication is closed under closed for the natural numbers. And then Subtraction is not a closed and addition is closed. Are you understand? 